Hello, everyone. Welcome to QNet Live Show. I'm your host Sam. For today's topic, uh, today's topic is really a, a kind of special one because, like the the last several one, we were talking about like a kernel or container station, something that were uh, a kind of a bit hard or deep for uh, average users to understand. But today we are talking about something easier. That is the run. Run is a uh, is an app that we have put on our app center. That is a good uh, app that can combine all the music that you have put into your NAS, and then it. Uh, the function of the Rune is that you can uh, easily manage all your uh, music into different categories, or we can try to get more informations from each of the songs that we play on Rune. So uh, today the topic. QNAP and Rune team up to provide an optimal music streaming solution for music enthusiasts. So today we have our uh, PM Linus to, to uh, show you all the detail about Rune. And then he will also show us how can we do to build up a good environment uh, to, uh, for users to play the Rune. So uh, we will start from our PowerPoint. And uh, welcome, welcome, Linus. Hi, uh, very good to see you. So let's take a look at the PowerPoint. Uh, from the topic, we can see that optimal music streaming solution. Uh, I believe every one of us we hear music, no matter is from our cell phone or from computer or from any other uh, devices. But you know that. For each music, we have different kind of files, like we have MP3, we have WMA, we have WAV, we have FLAG, and we have APE. We have different, so many different types of the music. Why? Because the different compression will affect the size of the music that we, we try to store in our mm, hard disk or we try to put on our uh, NAS. But, the different uh, for the sizes of the music will also affect the quality of the, the music. Like maybe for MP3, some people said that MP3 uh, is good though, but the high frequent will be cut. But if it's WAV or uh, FLAC, uh, no matter it's high frequent or the low frequent, you can hear every of the detail very uh, easily and clean. But also, you have to have a good output, that, like a good speaker that you can uh, work with your flag file. So, how, uh, how do we uh, use Rune and how do we use our NAS to build everything together? And how does Rune work? Please, Linus, show us. Okay, so thank you, Sam, and hello, fans, and thank you, Sam, again, for a very intriguing introduction on today's topic, which is QNAP team up with room and to provide a total solution for music management. So this is actually today's outline that will state um, uh, what are the elements we will be having in today's topic. So we will first, of course, um, giving you an idea on what kind of problem our music lover will face when it comes to digital, ma uh, digital music. And second, we will certainly go a little bit deeper on Rune's introduction because I believe there are still some of our fans yes. um, seldom or never heard about Rune before. Yes. Although it's been very popular at yeah. this time. Yeah. I think yeah, uh, the Rune, this app has been published for like around two years. Yeah, being like wildly accepted and being uh, hot trending um, in the past two years. Basically, I think Rune is uh, for the high-end users yeah. because it provides uh, a very good uh, express information for each of the songs, yes. the, of the uh, files. Yeah. yeah, and so of course after we giving you an idea on what is, uh, what is Rune, mm -hmm. and we will next tell you how to choose a good fit for Rune Core yeah. to install on. And of course we will step by step telling you how to set up the whole environment I will show you some advanced application or successful stories and cases that will certainly um, make you believe this is actually something that our hi-fi lovers around mm -hmm. the world have been focusing on. 
so you, uh, we have talked about that, like the third agenda, like choose a room core. Uh, not every NAS can work with room. Uh, yeah, not, not particularly because uh, as we will certainly cover that is a room core mm -hmm. is actually trying to integrate those local library mm -hmm. with online library okay. and it will automatically index every music metadata for you. Mm -hmm. So that needs a lot of computation. Okay. So you can uh, assume there are some NAS, which mm -hmm. not so much, but they are uh, not for computational okay. efficiently. Okay. Yeah. So there is some limitation. For example, x86 models will be more ideal. Okay. So yeah. everyone, after we uh, see more of the room, and we will we will let you know what kind of NAS is more suitable for mm -hmm. you if you are a music enthusiast. Yes, exactly. So let's just go from everything where we start is, mm -hmm. let's say we are music lovers. Yes. I believe certainly Sam is, right? Yes. What kind of music you will be listening to? Well, basically, since I'm in Taiwan, of course, I I like to hear like Taiwan pop song oh. and some classic music like Beethoven or uh, Chopin. Chopin. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So basically, that's that's everything, like from pop mm -hmm. and to the old time cla uh, classical and mm -hmm. jazz, maybe. But well, as it comes to a music lover, there are three things that we, mm -hmm. by observation, we found out is that first, because it comes to digital music, a rich collection will require a massive storage mm -hmm. to make sure everything put in together safe. Yes, and uh, the storage is sufficient enough to contain everything. Totally. Yeah. And the second is, as we finally managed to put everything into a certain uh, kind of storage mm -hmm. pool, we want to have an easy way to manage the collection, yes. which then lead to search them, mm -hmm. to play them, to mm -hmm. play the music that you actually want at this moment. Yes. Yeah, because I'm using, okay, I'm using my computer to, uh, I put all my songs in, in my computer, but sometimes when I want to find some specific song, uh, it's kind of hard because uh, I don't know which folder I have put that song. Yeah. Or maybe when I'm using some uh, music applications on my cell phone, yeah, um, yeah it, it holds the records of the songs that I played. Yeah. But if I'm trying to um, find a specific song, maybe I forgot the name or maybe I don't know where I have put it into my like the favorite folder or something. Yeah. So that is kind of complicated, especially when, of course, that is not a good model, especially when I'm driving. Yes. I want to, <laughs> I want to hear something yeah. and I will take out my phone and spend some time while I'm driving. Yeah, exactly. So that is very dangerous for us. So I believe this circumstances might happen to every one of you. Yeah, That's exactly. Fine. So how can Rune save us? Yeah, and uh, of course, so the easy way to manage and search the music content is something that every music lover yeah. will love to see. Yeah. And the last one will be after you set up all these uh, environment, uh, you certainly want your content can be delivered which is to stream mm -hmm. to multiple devices and mm -hmm. outputs at the same time. Okay. And with quality, great quality mm -hmm. and easy to control. Uh, interfaces. Perfect. Yeah. And so with these three requirements, we can actually conclude to not name down, we actually mm -hmm. just need to list things. First, we will certainly need an intuitive management panel. Yeah, that's yeah. very important. Yeah. And the second, you will need a reliable and advanced storage solution. Also very important. Also very important. Yeah, you can see that because the requirements there and this is how we're going to not lock them down. And luckily, yeah. we found out actually room it's just for that, the intuitive management panel, because they provide professional music library management. And QNAP, as everyone may know, is that we secure your data mm -hmm. and with our powerful and efficiency storage solutions. So we found that a perfect match. Yeah, because actually, if you don't have that much song, that many songs, you don't really have to have a good way to manage all the songs. Yeah. But if you like maybe some people will have like thousands or even more songs in one like hard disk or storage storage devices. Yes. They will need a good way to categorize, to list, to, to manage all the songs. Or I think they maybe 
one day they will, they will they will like I forgot what songs I have exactly yeah so yeah. They, they might download the same song again again and again yeah so that is very not efficient at yeah. all so I think these two are uh, like uh, they will put each other as an add on yes yeah. exactly so and actually Sam you just point a very very important point is that um, it might be fine mm -hmm. if those inconveniences just come to you at just once yeah but when it comes to thousands or millions of songs all at the same time mm -hmm. and you get painful and finally you die yeah i'd rather throw away my instant device exactly so this is why rune uh being helping the world okay is that actually they just solve this problem which is you do you still remember in maybe just 10 years ago mm -hmm. when we tried to buy those music we actually went to some kind of cd stores yeah pull out the cds with beautiful colors and lyrics books inside mm -hmm. so actually that was the traditional way to enjoy our music mm -hmm. but after we digitalize every music it turns out to be the right side which is only windows and folders stay there and that is not exactly what people enjoy yeah, uh, so think about that. If I put Linkin Park into folder like files, it's not rock at all. No. Yeah. Or if I put like Christina Aguilera into files, it's not beautiful or rock. Ginny not in the yeah. file at all. <laughs> no, no, no. You just say track one, track two, yeah. and dot F O A C, and that that's it. So what Rune does is that. They will turn this other ordinary database, mm -hmm. which is your file list, into a delicate music magazine. Okay. But speaking of this music magazine, we now we have some other softwares, no matter it's on uh, computer or cell phone. They can also show us like a similar image as a magazine. So what are the differences for Room? So a cool thing is that first um, as we're speaking of Rune, most of uh, its fans actually mm -hmm. owns a rich collection of high quality music. Mm -hmm. But the things that they can hardly match themselves is that if they try to build out their own database mm -hmm. based on these files, it could mm -hmm. be very painful. Yeah. It's, it's like everywhere and you, you, can, you just cannot collect that yeah, by yourself. So what Rune does that for you is that as you import these, your own collection to Rune server, mm -hmm. and it will help you to integrate with its online mm -hmm. database. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to input everything by your own. Instead, Rune online database will integrate those metadata for you for each file. So you will then see a full magazine style including composers, artists, mm -hmm. album information, even mm -hmm. concerts information. Oh, yeah. So that, that's a big difference. Yeah. So I hear a song and I like it. I put it into Rune and I just give him some simple uh, data like uh, Mariah Carey butterfly. Exactly. Yeah. It will show me uh, all the information about Mariah Carey and all the history records she has yes. and uh, the future concert she will, go, she will have. Yes. Oh, that is a big difference and yeah very yeah. useful yeah and that is that becomes really something right yeah. yeah way out of our expectation yes so that 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 just uh, brought out our first point which is the hybrid music library mm -hmm. they integrate the online and offline all together yes. and second will be after they integrate this whole uh, hybrid library you will be able to quick play mm -hmm. because all these music are being cat categorized either by June by artists a ranking you can you can name it mm -hmm. and you can just by uh flipping time and you everything will just play out fluently as you wish okay. yeah and the last one is actually the multi-zone streaming with top quality mm -hmm. this is something that we're being very very applause for is the quality they're delivered because they work so hard on the digital streaming uh, process mm -hmm. and make sure that every signal while they pass through those devices in your house they are lossless and they deliver the quality just as the original one like perfect mm -hmm. so speaking of like high quality streaming not only the NAS and the room we need to have also we need to have a good speaker right yes okay so that's for sure we will check on that later we will certainly look into that yeah so 
to to give you an idea on uh, we just saw how room will show you after everything is set up. So if we look at um, how it how it is built, it's actually content with three part. Uh, first is control and core, and last one is output. Okay. And you can imagine the core because it's called the core. So everything is basically surrounded on that. Yeah. yeah. So what the core do is what we just said. <coughs> it will integrate everything together offline, online, mm -hmm. and make sure the your data are indexed, mm -hmm. integrated with these metadata, make you possible to search them. And after that is set up, you can use the room control. And this means you can use your Mac and PC and okay. iPhones, yeah. Apple, uh, uh, Apple any, any other any phones. other phones. Yeah. And you just download their app. You can browse and control with these devices. Okay. So uh, for what we can control is room control and room core. Yes. Yeah. And room output is as the, all the audience wish. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so for the room output, of course, we'll go into more details later. But it's mm -hmm. basically those network players and room ready devices. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So as we said, the most important part is the room core. Yeah. We would like to show you what plays as a good qualified mm -hmm. core. Okay, so what do we need? What are the requirements for a room core actually? Because we just said a core manages all these music collection from many sources. Mm -hmm. They can from your actually from Dropbox yes. or Tito services and interconnected digitally library using enhanced information from room. So Certainly, because it's work as a huge brand, mm. and so it requires high efficiency. So the CPU, the CPU must be powerful enough. And DRAM, DRAM, yes, yeah. must be large enough. Yeah, the size cannot be too low. Mm. Yeah, okay. And the second is since you have a such rich yeah. library, it's understandable you need a massive storage. Mm. And the last one is C, a secure and reliable data protection. Mm -hmm. This is actually some of the very, very painful points for our music lovers because they have been collecting or their rich collections for years, maybe for decades. Okay. You want to make sure everything just safe. So uh, for QNAP NAS, we provide you good CPU and a good enough RAM yes. for high efficiency. And then for the massive storage, uh, we have like four, uh, two bay, four bay, eight bay, or even higher bay. Yes. Quantities of the NAS. And for what kind of hard disk that the users want to put inside as a massive, massive storage is made by their choices. Exactly. So these two are what our hardware can provide. Yes. And then for the secure and reliable data protection, which for NAS, NAS is known for the data protection yes. and security, right? Exactly. So that is all we can definitely provide to our uh, users yeah. without any doubt. Yes. Yeah, so that is why we need to use NAS because uh, first thing first, NAS is a safety product. It's a secure product for every of the database you put inside there. And then for the other like massive, massive storage, you can choose how, how, how big the storage you need and then for high efficiency just check on the product we introduce later and you will see how powerful uh, we will recommend you to use with our NAS yeah so absolutely correct I mean you just covered like everything so this is why we're now recommend you the and highly efficiently PS 1277 model which is your best choice for room feature QNAP NAS or together music management solution. But can you tell me why do we need an SSD for installing room? Mm -hmm. Is that is that really necessary? Oh yes, it is recommend highly recommended uh, since um, an SSD mm -hmm. um, is not active to it. The fact is SSD runs faster, its okay. IO rate is much more higher and stable than an HDD. Mm -hmm. So as we talking about building up a room core, mm -hmm. which requires a lot of uh, computational efficiency, mm -hmm. we want their hard hardware environment to okay. be the top level. I see. Yeah. So that's why we recommend a model that includes an SSD mm -hmm. um, drives. So um, and you can see on the left side, 
we recommend our using our SSD to do two things. First, uh, sorry, the second will be install room core on SSD mm -hmm. to speed up the application. Yeah. And on the top, SSD cache can optimize the object quality. Oh, I see. So we put SSD as as the brain of DAS. Yes. It do all the like the, the, the room core thing. Yes. So uh, like the analyzing and uh, for indexing. all the data data indexing, data collection and uh, and and show it to the, the remote comfort, uh, remote devices. Yes. Like like the, the future concert or any other things. Yes. That is uh, the work based on SSD. Yes. And then we will put all the uh, music database into the hard disk. Yes. Okay. That's how we do that. Mm. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So for a TS1277 model, it has an A base for hard disk. Mm. So we will recommend a Red 5 style, which uh, can certainly protect your massive storage safe, safely. Yeah. So we even, even we guarantee we have good quality of the NAS. Mm -hmm. we, we can we, we, we cannot say that all the HDD you buy is one hundred percent safe, right? Exactly. Yeah. So that is why you need a uh, a NAS with like higher quality of the hot HDD because you will need to use rate tension yeah. to provide uh, you a more safer uh, storage capacity. Yeah. Unexpected hazards happen. Yeah. Yeah. So you just want something that can back you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And lastly, will be the efficiency we require and which relies on the CPU mm -hmm. and TS1277 will have an AMD Ryzen and which certainly be more than enough to no, run this board. Enough. Yeah. So I, I can yeah. even use this CPU to play computer games. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh that's that's how they do on the on the conference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they show everyone that it is somehow very powerful mm -hmm. coming yeah, with the, those original Intel models. So no doubt that is a very power enough product, right? Okay, yes. good. So speaking of uh, these whole alignments that we we I recommend our, mm -hmm. our fans to do that, there are something we still want to address is the safety of your data. Mm -hmm. So the nature of QNAP NAS is that we provide a full set of storage solutions which covers RAID data protection, mm -hmm. a hybrid backup sync, back, which will back up your uh, uh, data to cloud storage or even remote NAS. Okay. And lastly will be the snapshot, which can make sure you can go back to uh, previous versions from uh -huh. time to time. And the flexibility is really high. You can just decide whatever you want. But we are not going to cover every details today. Yeah, because we have other videos to show everyone that what is RAID and how important it is and what kind of backup we provide yeah. and uh, what is snapshot and what is the technology of it. So if you want to know more about that, you can just go and check out our other videos. Yeah. But the conclusion of all these three functions is to provide you a more secure and safe enough storage capacity for you to uh, put all of your thousands and maybe millions yes. songs into our NAS and you don't have to worry about if one day I will uh, if one day one of my HDD or anything happen to my uh, storage capacity maybe I will lose some of the important songs that I love yeah so uh, we will go through this briefly and then we'll go to the next topic. Yes, exactly. So just remember, we are avoiding those heartbreaking moments yes. from, from you. Okay, so as we just said, those three important elements mm -hmm. for choosing a core, which are high performance computing, large storage space and appropriate backup system. Mm -hmm. Actually, they are other solutions than that. Than that. Okay. Yeah, so it is quite common that people trying to build their room core on a computer, mm -hmm. but there are some something that is not so perfect if you're trying to make your core mm -hmm. in on the computer, which is when it comes to large storage space, it needs to plug in external hard disk. Yeah, yeah. You can you cannot expect a a hard disk to be three dB and enough for your well mm -hmm. thousands of songs. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, and. The last one will be a backup system. Uh, as we just showed you, there are snapshots and hybrid backup sync mm -hmm. and rays to protect on a QNAP NAS. But when it comes to computer, you need to find out your own way. Yeah. Yeah. To find out different 
either external devices to plug on and to schedule it up and leave. So once again, why we choose NAS? Because we have integrated all the three functions together into NAS. Exactly. Yeah. One machine, you can deal with every uh, any other concerns. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is what we consider a core NIST perform, and that is why mm. we recommend you to use a QNAP NAS as your core. And so we just finished about our core. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit more about the control and output, okay. which are the two elements that a room structure will show. So the control. So we just said, as this core is set up, you will need these control devices mm -hmm. from either Android or iOS, Mac or Windows. You can just certainly connect in as long as you are in the same uh, LAN, mm -hmm. uh, LAN environment. Okay. And you can just control and set and play with those, all these interfaces. So the room core is like a brain and the room control is like arms and feet and the bodies because yeah. we have brains so we can uh, we can connect any other different like uh, uh, remote devices and then we deliver all the different music to each of the remote devices, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So after receiving those comments from the controls, here are the outputs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the outputs, uh, of course, you will cover those uh, default built-in Mac and Windows sound system and network players, AirPlay, Squeaksbox, Meridian, which are pretty familiar and popular these days, mm -hmm. and the room ready partners, which <coughs> which actually are the stereo devices that have been verified by room. So they are very high quality, mm -hmm. and you can see a full list of them on roomlabs.com, mm -hmm. which they list all these room ready partners. As long as they become room ready partners, a room application will be able to find them oh. whenever they are in the same uh, land environment. Understood. So if that is not a room ready uh, speaker, is the room will be also find them under the same? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. So um, here you will see on the bottom left corner, mm -hmm. there's a quad core silent fanless NAS mm -hmm. called HA's 2 by one plus. So it's a fanless, no it's fan. No fan. No fan, which means, uh, no fan also means uh, if you put your NAS inside uh, with, with you in your like in your uh, audio room, yes. and of course the fan will have will give you noise. So uh, if you are listening to a perfect song, but also you have the fan, the noise of the fan coming up with you. That is, some people will uh, put a great concern of that. So that is why we will also introduce you the uh, fanless NAS later, so that. If you are very uh, concerned about this, you can try to think about this solution. It might give you a more satisfactory of your environment of listening to music. Certainly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we will cover that later. Mm -hmm. So, as we just covered those three important elements for a full room structure, mm -hmm. which is the control, core, and outputs, we're now getting our hands dirty okay. so that everything everyone knows how do you actually set up a core sure. on the QNAP okay. NAS? So first thing is please find your music. Yeah. Yeah. And pour everything to the HDD on the yes. recommended NAS. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but here will be one thing is that if you are trying to import something from a SD card mm -hmm. and because we're talking about high quality music, yes, a single file could be uh, extraordinarily large. Very large. Yeah, so if that, that really happens to you, um, to import those extremely large files, we'll need, you will need an EXFAT mm -hmm. storage uh, license. Yes. And that can be acquired in our license store. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. This is just give you some idea if you run into these problems, it can be solved. Okay, yeah, problem. So let's say after here, um, we just successfully pour everything into our HDD. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we start out to build up a core. And remember, mm -hmm. the reason why we recommended a TS-1277 is that it has SSD. 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 Yeah, so SSD are faster, mm -hmm. and we certainly want our core to be built on that. Yes. Yeah, so first thing we will do is create a storage pool and volume on SSD. the SSD. Yeah, and second, we will build up the core folder, which is mm -hmm. a share folder on the SSD. 
So since I can see that name the folder run server highlighted in red, so if we do not create a folder as run server, can I also install the, the, the run application? No. no, it will just stop you mm -hmm. and remind you you have to do that. Okay, so everyone, this is very important. Uh, you, we have to create a new folder as run server, and then we can install the app. So before you try to download it, just create that server in your SSD, or if you are not using a NAS with SSD, it's okay, you can try to put it in your HDD, that'll be no problem. Yeah, okay. So the thing is that actually, uh, you know, in the community, yes. while people um, highly recommend you mm -hmm. to build on the, the core on the SSD, mm -hmm. there are people like me mm -hmm. trying to build it on the mm -hmm. HDD. Okay. Okay, this is not a, a very good example because I success. <laughs> but they, not, that's not the standard. Let's put it this way. That's not the standard. Uh, and workaround is mm -hmm. if you happen to have a NAS mm -hmm. without a, a, any SSD mm -hmm. on it, we would recommend you to buy an external SSD. Oh, that can do. That can do. Okay. That can do. So you can plug in and just do whatever, uh, whatever you see, just go through it again. Mm -hmm. And still, you build, build on a, you build your core on an external SSD. Okay. Never do as well. Why we suggest you still, still to use SSD is because the core needs a lot of uh, efficient to, to deal with every of the information. Like imagine that you choose one song and then the core will analyze you and give you the information like what are the other songs that this singer has sung? And then what is the future uh, information like uh, uh, concert or he, or he or her other activity? Or the history of and the, and the detailed information of the singer. That, that is all the information that the core needs to go online, yes. internet, and then gather Compute. all the information for you. Yes. So that is why we highly recommend you to have an SSD. Even if you are not using a NAS with SSD, mm -hmm. just get an external one. Yes. And after you just successfully create a share folder named Rune Server mm -hmm. on the SSD, next you will just need to install the Rune Server from our App Center. Basically, I have tried this process and actually it's very fast, like less than two minutes. Yeah. So don't worry about it, just get it done. Yes, exactly. And after you successfully install, and let us remind you, actually, these um, Rune server mm -hmm. QPKG mm -hmm. installed on the QNAP NAS is a, let's say, it's headless, mm -hmm. which means it has no interface. Yeah. Yeah. So everything you want to do, um, including control it, configuring it, and to play music, you will need to do it in the Rune control okay. devices which mean what you said, uh, those PC, Mac, and Android mm -hmm. iOS devices. So um, we take an iOS as an example. As you successfully connect with in the, in the main environment, mm -hmm. you will need to choose your core. Then you import those music. Remember, you just pour everything in the HDD okay. of your NAS. So you just need to uh, point out and select the path. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so you can import everything from the NAS. Mm -hmm. And the last thing you will be you will need to enable those output devices under the same LAN environment. Okay. And you're all set, ready to go. So uh, you keep you kept mentioning about LAN environment. Yes. For now, this function support LAN environment yes. only, right? Yes. Okay. So that is how we can get a uh, multi streaming in each uh, in each of the different like speakers. Yes. And, okay. Understood. Exactly. So you are ready to go. This hybrid music library shows beautifully as you show, as you can see on mm -hmm. our screen. And you can certainly find those artist bio, biography um, uh, right in the middle mm -hmm. and top ranking and including community link and Wikipedia link mm -hmm. when you want to dig deeply yeah. on the, the artists and those informations, etc. So this information are all searched by the the room core on the internet. Yes. So uh, once all the like the top ranking or the community Wikipedia has been changed, the what we have seen will also be changed. Yeah, it will be updated. Okay. Yeah. Good. So room takes that very carefully to make sure these data are updated and accurately. Okay. Yeah. And uh, 
Second, uh, we'll be featuring the quick search. Mm -hmm. As we just said, you pour everything into it, you try to get out that quickly, mm -hmm. figure out what you want to play. So there's a certainly a quick search um, feature. You simply quickly type in, and those recommended uh, songs and albums and artists will just pop up. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And it's just like very intuitive. Very easy. Yeah. And <clears throat> as we just covered, the multi-zone streaming yeah. is one of the strongest feature that everyone loves about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a, um, we just connect four output devices all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you will see that all this is in this panel. We can control these devices simu simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And of course, including their volume and streaming, either you want to individually, it will okay. work too. So these are the multi zone and well, as we've been covering so much, why don't we just we just show, show everyone the <coughs> interface of the room? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so cherry. yeah, cherry. <laughs> uh, so not you, right? No, <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> well, okay. I would die for that um, beautiful name, but okay. I'm not. <laughs> Good. Okay, so. This is the overview uh, screen for mm -hmm. a, a room, room control, actually. Okay. We are using an iPad as well now. You can see here our recently added album. You can uh, check out very easily. Mm -hmm. And here, we'll have some featured information. For now, it's featured artists uh, uh, starring Cecilia Bartoli. It is not necessary what you have been listening to or play for. Yeah. It is actually what the system thinks you will like to do. Oh. Yeah. How how can the system do that for me? Because they know what you have been listening and importing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And um, um <clears throat> so that's mm -hmm. just give an idea on the search. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just covered Beethoven. Let's say we just key, uh, input Beethoven here, so you will see there are recommended uh, search um, streams mm -hmm. and uh, keywords for you, either from Beethoven as a name mm -hmm. or Beethoven's uh, all the other compositions, <laughs> yeah, and songs, all the others together. So, if you are searching Beethoven as a composer here, you will see ah a beautiful, beautiful biography here, yeah, yeah, and even with uh our famous uh Picture. musicians pictures yeah. that that painting on in the, as a background mm. you can certainly check out more details while you are enjoying the Prince beautiful symphonies and other than that here will also covers Beethoven's albums and uh, related genes like mm -hmm. other genes that being yeah listed here and um the other thing we will certainly want to show you here is the multi-zone feature yeah yeah it's very important yeah so a um, very very cool thing is that the multi-zone feature mm -hmm. that the room being designed is that everyone who owns a control device can actually see an overview mm -hmm. what's being playing on each devices okay yeah so as we see we are connect now just to okay yeah but uh, but uh, if if we can okay, invite our fans to look closer enough okay so these two devices are actually playing different songs mm -hmm. yeah as for the mac is playing violin concerto uh by Beethoven. yeah and in the living room it's uh it's stopped now it's paused now yeah. but it's by john's yeah. johan brahms piano concerto number mm -hmm. one yeah so you can see you can anytime you can just play it or stop it or you just want everything stopped at all at the same time I can control the volume as at the same time, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And even by your wish, if you are trying to hold a party in your mm. home, you can just wake up every devices, oh. group them in the same zone, and play music. That's cool. So I can have this, the the one zone and all around my house. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, a good function. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know that there are some wireless Bluetooth speakers. They now have this kind of functions. Yeah. But I don't. For what I don't know is I can also use Rune and my NAS and maybe just one of the app. Yes. To do to do all the functions and at the same time I can also uh, re uh, like re arrange my group right yes. like today i just want three speakers working at the same time i can yeah. i can just group it as one and yeah. maybe tomorrow i just want all the speakers 
to work mm -hmm. together. I yeah. can just arrange them as one group. Yes. It's very easy to use. Yeah. And it is, well, by myself experience, mm -hmm. it is very interesting as before, mm -hmm. you will just listen to one specific set mm -hmm. of stereo mm -hmm. and you might think, yeah, this is beautiful, this is good enough. Yeah. But when it comes to a zone playing, you will find totally those music. Different. That's totally different yeah. because those music just fill up your whole house, yeah. every corner, and actually you will have a refreshed experience on that. I had this experience. Right. It's like I'm in the middle of a like a bubble and yes. every of the sound like hitting on my body from different kinds of angles and that feels really good. Yes, and that's really, really good one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think that's will be what we are showing mm -hmm. and demoing today. Can we just go back to our PowerPoint slides? <laughs> yeah. So that's what we've been covering and if when you, if and next we were trying to introduce some of more advanced okay or um, alignment or setup for our home mm -hmm. so let's say you just finish the basic you yeah. will see your house being very similar like this yes I have one <coughs> table with my computer and NAS yes and also. the NAS is now performing as the room core yes and those blue tags mm -hmm. are the controls so you can use pc just beside the nas okay. or you can see the mother and uh, now it's in the kitchen she's mm -hmm. will be using ios and android devices to control okay. as well it means that's to be just beside the, the nas and for the purple are all the outputs so we can use apple tv yes okay that's cool <laughs> and the stereo in the living room usb deck can also work with room yes Okay, and because they are room ready. Okay. Yeah. And of course, bedroom speaker. Yes. Yeah. If you are putting in home parts, it works just fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So next will be if it comes to advanced. Oh, uh, we just talk about the fanless now. Yeah. So as we said, there are more advanced mm -hmm. uh, music lovers and we who are really sensitive to the details. Yes. You will certainly want your um, TS 1277 somehow to be isolated or content mm -hmm. so those fan sounds will not interrupt your song yeah yeah but you will you will now need something to to replace uh, as an output which will be the fanless QNAS mm -hmm. and here we are recommending the uh, HS uh, 251 plus so uh, we will take uh, a, a core yes. core NAS to deal with all the computing things. Yes. And then we will let the fanless NAS to do the output things. Yes. So uh, why can we just, ah, oh. so we don't recommend users to put the, the core into the fanless. It, it's because that is not SSD support. Yeah, yeah, it's not that powerful enough. Okay, so as a uh, amplifier, mm -hmm. that's a very good, uh, just good way through. to use the fanless fanless NAS as as a, another connection. Yes, not in another media room. Okay. Yes, and that this is how our, our fans are doing. Actually, <laughs> there are people doing this right now. Yeah, just too high, mm -hmm. and even more perfect quality to, to be delivered. And only one connect, only one connecting cable can do that, right? Yes, from the from two of the NAS. Yes. Okay, so we don't have to get like of, uh, like stereo. Uh, so oh no, no connection no. and then the other like mono definitely not it, it could be very painful okay. <laughs> you see strings all around yeah, yeah, so yeah just one and we're done yes okay cool okay then we actually want to share some mm -hmm. some successful cases and stories from the mj audio uh, located in northern taiwan okay in and um, we are highly honored to interview uh, Mr. Tai and mm -hmm. Robert, which is the designer of this stereo room or stereo, stereo shop. Okay. And Robert has been uh, has been playing with these music things for years, for mm -hmm. decades. That that's mm -hmm. really that way. And he know he knew that room is a wonderful app mm -hmm. for quite a while. And but now he found actually Gunam Nas is a perfect match with it. Okay. Yeah, and there are certainly some kind of questions and 
doubt mm -hmm. he might be uh, wrong, ran into while mm -hmm. he went through all this process. And it will certainly be very interesting if uh, our fans can just see mm -hmm. uh, what Mr. Tai uh, Robert wants okay. to share with you. Okay, so uh, we will uh, we will prepare the video for you to see, and uh, uh, there are several things that we need to let you know that for the video now is in Chinese subtitle with English subtitle, but for some some cut, uh, the English subtitle is not ready yet. But don't worry about that. We will put mm -hmm. out another link for the whole English subtitle video, so uh, uh, we can just check on the video to see if there are. Uh, any any uh, any problems that you you are encountered now, and if there are any solution that we can help you to have a better uh, experience for listening to your music in your media room or any other places, so let's check on the video, please. Hi,大家好,我是林展音響的音響規劃師Robert 感到興趣,所以就對這些,不管是音樂啊,還是電影啊,開始就漸漸的去琢磨,然後去累積了一些經驗跟技術。平常電腦在做的一些事情,不管是下載還是什麼之類的,全部都交給他。後來這個QNAP的NAS就變成我一個生活的重心。那我們來看一下這個Rune的這套軟體 介紹,那彷彿就是你在閱讀一本音樂雜誌一樣,那我們可以選擇一首來播放。界面的地方可以看得到說,你它的這個演奏的進度,然後右邊可以看到說,你要選擇你要把這個音樂在哪一個家中的環境裡面去播放。那假設說你在另外一個房間,或者是說廚房,那有配置不一樣的這個輸出
，大家好，这里是我们民展影响二零一八年所嗯、呃、建造的一个小型的电影院。哦、那这间电影院呢，其实有点超越了一般，就是在大家在外面看电影的水准。它是由二十四声道的全景声天空剧院，它几乎像电影院一样，所有的喇叭几乎全部都是隐藏式的，包括正面就是你看到的这幕幕。那我们希望呢，就是说消费者如果在家里有视听室的话，它其实是一个呃，打造出一个比较像电影院的感觉。好，那这样子在看电影院的时候呢，爽度够之外，那你的。那个整个看电影的效果的临场感也都会非常的觉得很有感觉。Hello, everyone. We're back. So,、uh, have you found any、uh, problem that you have encountered from the video? And I hope that you have found something that. Can really solve your problem while you are listening to your music or build your own media room. So uh, uh, the this MJ Audio is very famous in northern Taiwan. So、uh, as you can see, they have a, a media room which is very like luxury or something with all the chair, all the sofa and Iron Man inside. Yeah, so, you don't see that very often. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. Uh, the other thing is that I want to tell you is you don't really have to have this、uh, like high-end、uh, speakers or environment to to to, to cope with your room.、Uh, even if you are just like me, I like to listen to music, but I don't I don't have like millions of songs. I maybe only hundreds, not over one thousand songs. But I still want to try to use this room. Can I use it? Of course, you can use it. So if I don't really have、uh, the budget, maybe some people have their budget problem. If I、yeah. don't really have the budget problem to have a good quality output devices, can I also use Room? Of course, of course. because Room provides a very、uh, high efficient detail information and any and and all the other informations for each song that I'm choosing to 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 listen. So、uh, we can see from here is、uh, like a go. I, I will say it's a golden triangle. We have a good NAS to storage all of your songs and can provide you a good enough safety and storage capacity. And with RAID, with、uh, backup, with snapshot, so that you don't have to worry about any of your songs will get lost. And then we have a good software you can download from our app center, the Room, which can provide you. A, uh, a multiple information for each song you choose, and of course with a good、uh, image while you are listening to the music, and、uh, the user interface is also very friendly for every everyone to use. Of course, don't forget the, the grouping function that you can arrange all the speakers into one group, and then the other part is the quality output devices. So.、Uh, Of course, no matter you want to make this triangle big, or you want to make it average size, or you just want to make it smaller for your own use, your own usage, that'll also be no problem at all. So,、uh, as said, we can just all try to download this Rune QPKG on the App Center, and we can just start to enjoy the function of the Rune Player. So、uh, today we want to thank, the, especially thank for the. Xin Xinju, MJ Audio Flag Store, and of course, Room. Room. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for providing us a good、uh, example and the detailed Consulting, information, consulting,、yes, yes. such a good software、um, to work on our NAS. Yes. Yeah. So if you still have any other、uh, questions, you can just leave a message below because I have seen that we have two.、Uh, To viewers, then they are now discussing with、uh, if I if, if there's any other way I can download the room or is App Center provide a third party QBKG or something.、Mm -hmm. So if you have any other questions, please just leave us a message and we will、uh, reply you ASAP.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, of course, after this video, we will put the video with English subtitle 
into the content of our video. So let's get back to our live show now. Today we especially thank you because uh, Linus is from a very far place, <laughs> like three hours driving. So uh, it's, it's very tough for him today. <laughs> yeah. So if you like our video, please uh, you can sub subscribe our channel and give us a like and we will provide you more and more videos, no matter it's from the software or the hardware or the unboxing or any other uh, topics. So uh, thank you for your watching today and we will see you next time on that Live Show. Thank you. Bye. Thanks and bye bye.